Hi, so I've just been playing with a little relay oscillator based circuit and it's really quite simple. There's only four parts that you actually need to make one of these and that is a relay, capacitor, LED and a resistor. And in addition to the flashing light you also get the satisfying little click of the relay as it switches between open and closed. If we remove the capacitor from the circuit we only have three elements and we can see how they all work together. This relay is made up of a number of components. So the, this part here is the coil. So when you apply a voltage across the coil, uh, you, it becomes energized, and this causes the relay to switch. So when there's no voltage across the coil, when the coil is not energized, uh, it is normally closed. And so the path from pin three to pin it goes from pin three to pin five. Uh, when the coil is energized. Uh, this it becomes connected so the electricity flows from pin 3 to pin 2 which we've left unconnected because we're not using the um, this this pin so in the initial configuration the coil is unenergized at the beginning the voltage flows from pin 3 down through pin 5 and our LED lights up and at the same time this causes the coil to become en energized so this switch flips back up again and as soon as that happens no current flows here so the coil stops becoming energized and the LED turns off but as soon as the coil becomes en unenergized this flips back down again and this creates our oscillation of flipping back up and flipping back down. You can have a look and have a listen to what happens when we try this circuit without a capacitor in parallel across the coil. So it kind of makes this really ugly uh, buzzing noise and it oscillates um, yeah, really fast so you can't actually see the LED flickering. So what we do is we make a small change to the circuit and we put ourselves a capacitor across the across the LED resistor or across the uh, coil and um, that slows down the oscillation rates so by carefully choosing our value of capacitor we can adjust the frequency of the circuit so this is a 2200 microfarad capacitor if I just put this here You get a steady and slow pulse, which you can see yeah, really clearly, and you can also hear clicking. So pretty satisfying. If we choose a slightly smaller capacitor, so for this is 470 microfarads, and put that in parallel across the coil, that causes the coil to energize and de-energize at a quicker rate than with the bigger capacitor. And so that creates a greater frequency, and so you get a faster clicking noise, and the LED blinks uh, quicker.